it's great to be um, part of the um, youth. I, I don't know what it's called. Youth cabinet. It's an understanding. Youth cabinet about doing different things. Yeah, youth cabinet is 48 young people. It has to be like west, west, east. Who meet every month. It's mainly based in Chichester, where we have our monthly meetings. Everyone's like really, really, really different, but everyone's like really cool as well. It can be as social or as formal as you like. Yeah. It's more about just doing something, getting something done. So we're trying to help people um, by supporting them, anything they might need. It's like about representing young people, like, but in a way that they want to be. What the young people of today say will matter in 20, 30 years time. The great thing about young people is they don't give you any bullshit. You get it straight from the hip and you go back. Um, as you can see from behind me, yes, young people do have a voice and I do think every young person in this room has something to say. The youth cabinet uh, is often confused with kind of like a political, like really heavy political organisation, like of like young people, really like smart young people, like trying to change like government, governmental policies, but it's not like that at all. Really. Having a voice is being able to express what your thoughts, your feelings, your ideas completely freely uh, to somebody who's going to listen. Like, you wouldn't like it if just an adult was making decisions for you. So you need to have young people that are helping get decisions for what young, young people really, really want. It's important for young parents because some people don't understand about like being a teen mum and that, and they just judge us. Things like some people try to, to like speak up loud, but they haven't got enough pitch in their um, throat. And some people talk, talk really funny, like clowns and stuff, or mates trying to get girls or something like that. It's about you get a taster of politics. What it's like to have an influence in decisions that affect your life, like the government do. Yeah, they're quite happy to ask you questions, challenge what you're saying. Yeah, that's and I very think good. that was really very, very yeah. good. I found it, you know, really fascinating. A lot of young people have um, good ideas, and normally that they can't get wasted because um, they normally don't um, get kind of told to anyone. And if there's areas that like need to be improved instead of just adults changing them because they don't particularly know what children want so we get to change them and it's really good because we get to have our say. It's good because it's fun and it, you're using your like skills, your brain. debates on issues around, not, not, not issues, more of just discussions and things that we don't think is right or wrong. I think it's really good that there's some place where students can actually come to all speak their, speak their voice, say what they think, their opinions about different things. Because otherwise what would young people be doing? They'd probably just be sitting at home playing on the PlayStation, which doesn't really expand their mind and vocabulary. some surface tricks and went for lots of walks and we've met loads of new people today actually, loads of people from different backgrounds and what else have we done? Went in that health thing, health lesson. Oh yeah, done some about sexual health. It's been quite good really. <laughs> A big part of the youth cabinet as well. A youth cabinet. A big part of the youth cabinet. <laughs> Can't say that. Anyway. Um, a big part of the youth cabinet is 
is to give a positive image of young people because you see stuff in newspapers about young people being hoodies, hoodies or yobs and like we really want to get rid of that image like we really want to we really want to promote that most young people um, can really really care about their community and can really do something good for their community so uh As you can see behind me, they've got this young person and I brought her in as my own and I go tell I teach her to do good things and she goes to youth clubs and stuff. That's enough now. Get off. <laughs> in my eyes I feel that kids my age, 13 and under 19, are like stereotype, like they're going to shops and they think, oh my god, she's gonna steal something, which they're not. Because, like, yeah, there's people that do that, but not every teenager does that. I hope that for some individuals, it's, you know, they're going to produce some really good projects and things that are going to benefit young people all over the place. But then, at the, as well, I really hope that everybody involved just sort of enjoys themselves and feels good about it and really learns something from it all, even if it's just a confidence boost or realising that these opportunities are available. We're going to make a difference that you're going to notice um, when you walk down the street and you see the new skate park, you think, wow and you're going to look at it and think, I'm proud to be young. Yeah, if you wanted to join the youth club, do it. You get out of school, you get to say what it is you want to say, and like, it's just a laugh as well, and like, you get to meet loads of different people. Please take the chance to get involved would be my, you know, my one message to young people all over the place as one of them. I want to see the business people of the future. I want to see the people that are actually delivering the economy of this country. Even if we are just a percentage of the country's population, we still have a voice and it should be heard. And young people know what they want in them. And we've got connections to people who know people, who know more people, who know more people. It's like a, it's the first steps towards getting young people like, fully involved. You know, it is a, an opportunity that young people should take up, all young people, something like this.